So this project is about exposing the front facade of King's Cross and producing a public square. Um, the first time it's really been open to the public since about 1860. So it's a really landmark piece of work. For the last 50 years, this area has been mainly covered by a building. And when it rains, the water comes on the roof of the building and drains rain to the drainage system. Obviously, we now remove that building. What we have is what looks like a level pavement. In fact, the pavement is very carefully contoured to collect the water and drain it into the local drainage system so when people exit the station, they don't walk straight into puddles. Within about two years, we'll get up to about 55 million passengers per annum. Everybody that arrives at King's Cross will come out through this square and 60% of them coming out the front of the station will immediately turn right and go down the underground. In addition to our customers and London Underground customers, we have about 40 to 50,000 people per hour which just traverse the square on either side. We would have loved to have cleared this entirely so that all the conflicting flows of people have got as much space to resolve themselves as possible. Unfortunately, as we can see, we have three large structures uh, which we had to incorporate into the design. These are what we would call mission critical systems for the underground and these structures couldn't be swept away as much as we wanted to. We have some 19 metre lighting masts, three of them across the square. It so happens that the alignment of those masts are virtually on top of the sewer. That's to ensure that the lighting of the square is, is adequate. Um, and the way we get around that is actually the the lighting masts themselves, whilst they are quite tall, are quite lightweight. However, we do use large foundations which are at the excess of 8 metres long and 3 metres wide to ensure that the weight is distributed evenly over the sewer. The design for the square, we knew it was important. It was going to be the biggest new public space built in London since Victorian times. Working with Camden Council, we are conducted an international design competition. In doing that, the lighting scheme that we got for the square is actually entirely bespoke. We're not using standard uh, council uh, lighting columns. We have two gigantic architectural lighting columns, which we've had to carefully design so that light goes downwards and illuminates the square, but doesn't shine into the windows of the hotels and, and houses opposite. So we'll have a wash, light wash from above, the facade will be light washed and all the, the, the seating will be underlit so there will be pools of light adding to this general area. What people might realise is to realise this is an extremely diverse industry and can employ a huge variety of people on some fantastic projects all around the world. Um, this happens to middle London um, but its, its challenges are enormous and I would really encourage people who want to, to really get involved and make a difference and to people's lives that they should become an engineer.